breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. Our very own federal government said they have seized 45 billion, billion Naira looted funds, identified terrorist financiers in the country. But my people, may you go find that we don't know the people be you. Remember the other time when the United Arab Emirates arrested some Nigerians who were funding this kind of activities? What we saw was that we were able to identify the people. In fact, they are still in prison. Some were given eight years, some were given 10 years in prison. But in Nigeria, it's a different ball game all together what we see today is a, is a you know people just want to tell tell nigerians and they expect them to just you know just accept it hook like and sinker don't question and uh, don't question anything that's what we are seeing oh. that's what we are seeing my lovely people that is exactly what we are seeing so these are some of the issues that are on ground these are some of the things that are happening and honestly sincerely speaking we need to ensure that the right things are done you know, we need to ensure that the right things are done. You know, they said they've seized this amount of money. They've done that, but we don't know where the money is. Uh, we don't know. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like or share, subscribe. Thank you. Federal government on Thursday said it has seized over 45 billion that was illegally looted from the nation's treasury. It further disclosed that the number of individuals entitled and titles linked to terrorist activities has been identified and designated with funds tracked to them, also confiscated. The Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Mr. Lafay Fagbami San, made the disclosure in his opening address at the 40 Technical Commission meeting of the Internal Government Action Group against money laundry in West Africa. He said, we are in a specialized institution of the economy of the economic community of West African state ECOWAS responsible for facilitating the adoption and implementation of anti-money laundry and counter financing of terrorism strategies in West Africa. In his presentation, the AGF, who spoke on behalf of Nigeria, said the president Bola Metinubu's government was determined to build a successful it built on success, the success that we are recorded by press administration. And I'll tell you the sources of the past administration. Okay. One of the sources of the past administration is that they looted the nation's treasury. In case you are wondering. Yes, they looted the nation's treasury. Uh, Buhari, they changed uh, Naira at the peak of the moment. And the uh, Nigerians were suffering and everybody were wondering what next to be. Uh, that's part of what they did. If you are wondering what they did, you know, you are trying to get it. That, uh, uh, what could be their job description? Because it's building on that one. Yes. So let's continue. He said in 2022, we increased the budget for Economic and Financial Crime Commission, the Independent Corruption Practice Commission, National Drug Law Enforcement Agency by almost 95% on a line at their dog, the controller. We now have over 1,500 officers designated to investigate and prosecute money laundry across these three agencies. But not them, they're not they prosecute, but they can prosecute others. You get me now? Mm-hmm. This sustained, this sustained investment has since seen increased number of investigation, persecution, and conviction consistently since 2021, with 5,118 5, investigation, 1,509 persecution, and almost 500 conviction secured, resulting in over 45 billion naira illegal proceeds seized. That is the one from Yahoo Yahoo Boys. But the real Yahoo Yahoo Boys are succeeding. They are throwing parties. They are going everywhere and doing everything they can with Nigerian money. So in case you are wondering, in case you are trying to say, ah, so what happened, my dear? Now, waiting they happen. But don't get it twisted. Though. They know exactly what they are doing. Don't get it twisted at all. Don't, don't get it twisted. They are a bunch of hyenas. Uh, they are a bunch of hyenas. You know, um, so this is part of, you know, this is uh, part of, uh, you know, the, 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 the things that we are experiencing. You know, um, you, you know, we just have to, we just have to rise up. We just have to rise up and uh, we need to do what is right. Okay. Uh -huh. And it's, it, it's very, very important. 
you know, it's very, very important that we rise up and we say the right things. You know, we say the right things um, and we need to do what is needed. OK, we need to do what is needed irrespective of who is involved. You know, we need to we need to rise up and ensure um, we do the right thing. OK, my people, don't forget that you need, you know, we, we you know, we need to write. We need to speak out every time we neglect, you know, the opportunity to 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 speak out when there is an alteration. We allow these people to continue on their spree of destroying this nation. Sincerely, truly speaking, you guys found 45 million and we are not aware. Uh -uh. You know, you are not, we are not aware. My people, we just need to, we just need to, you know, we just need to, we just need to understand where they are coming from. Most of them are liars. We hardly have true, those telling us the truth among them. So if for anything, okay, if for anything, if there's anything that you have ever taken from this, Okay, if there's anything you've ever taken from this, the truth of it is that we cannot continue with the same thing over and over again and expect a different result. If there's any time in our history as a nation, as a people, where you know we've we we have the opportunity to make a difference, to make a change, and we do not, you know, we do not uh, do what we needed to do, it will affect us. It will affect us, you know. So it is important that we understand this. It is very important. It is very, very important. Okay? It is very, very important. Nigeria, we cannot continue with people who have no true concern for us. Most of them, what they are doing, you know, is, is, is just for themselves. What they are doing mostly is for themselves. Hardly do we have those who are sincerely working. Okay? How do we have those who are sincerely working to ensure that, you know, they make a difference in all that is going on currently right now? Hardly do we have those, those set of people. Hardly do we have them. Hardly do we have them. And so it is important that we, you know, we, we, we rise up and we, we, we say no, enough is enough. You know, we must rise up and say enough is enough. We must. We cannot continue with the same thing over and over again and expect a different result. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't. It doesn't work that way. Okay? So it is very important that, um, you know, we understand what is going on and ensure that at the end of the day, all things are done decently and in order. Okay? So these are part of the things that are going on and every one of us can, can begin to see, you know, the things that have been, you know, on ground and what we can do differently in order to see the change, in order for us to be able to, you know, alight and ensure that we do everything for us to have the better life. God bless. Bye for now.